Starts 60, slight left, good luck. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 60. Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're trying something new. We're doing WRC moments. Um, I'm going to be going through all of them. And I'm going to be putting a little commentary. Don't worry, there'll be a commentary free version at the end of the video. Let's have a look at this. So, uh, so far, start of this rally stage has actually been quite good. Flowing through the first few corners very nicely there. Overall, I think this ended up taking me approximately about 10, maybe 15 attempts uh, before I got a decent run. You see that car dip in as it goes into that corner, into the heavy braking zone there. Six right into six left and four left, four right short into crest into six left into five right over that crest, section through that is quite easy to short, actually chain multiple short, corners, uh, left, especially if you take a wide line, you can get crest, set up straight, ready for the next corner. And there's almost a duplicate right, here as well where you can do the similar thing. This hairpin corner, however, caught me out quite a few times. Uh, going into that heavy braking zone, you can just carry too much speed quite easily into that one. This is where we start getting into the challenging part of the stage, I'd say. Uh, the next few sections are pretty difficult to do. Um, give it a couple, couple of splits. I think the next two splits were quite sketchy, uh, especially with the last two splits as well. There was a couple of moments that I had. Two left and lead one right and three left. Keep right. Almost losing into it into the wall there, um, right. into the banking. Overshooting a lot of these corners, into taking way right. too much speed in, and that's kind of one of the problems that I find with the new hybrid era of WRC cars. Sometimes you do take way too much speed, and especially when that boost kicks in when you're not expecting it to. Um, it's definitely sort of a trial and error kind of thing with it. See how that car flows through those sections there. It is such a beautiful car. Um, I'm a huge fan of these hybrid WRC cars, how they look, how they perform. They're pretty surprising. Um, and surprisingly easy to drive as well, compared to some of the other WRC cars that you see in this game. They are quite easy to drive. Definitely getting the uh, inside wheel very close to some of these corners here. Five left into six right, sixty. Caution, three right, tightens into two left short. And three left over crest at junction, sixty. This downhill section is very fast. Once I got onto this, this was kind of the point where I would overshoot corners or take it too cautiously. Um, it, it's very terrifying to take that much speed in, especially when you don't want to have to reattempt. 
over and over again. See the car coming over the top of the hill there. Look at that. And a little bit of contact on the inside. Again, this is what I'm saying about getting too close to the corner. I've actually ended up making contact with the inside curve there. I think there's one more sketchy moment coming up as well. Coming into this hairpin corner. Very nicely done. And with the uh, hybrid boost actually being timed very well for that one, we got quite a bit of speed out of that hairpin corner. Very wide on the outside there. Um, the car didn't quite rotate the way I'd like it to, so didn't end up carrying nearly enough speed out of that corner. Got a small little jump coming up here. Just a little bump. And uh, this corner caught me out about twice. Um, actually coming up to it the breaking point and the actual corner just comes out of nowhere and it's very much a surprise also another corner very similar and you can see there i've actually been caught out and i've ended up going both sets of wheels actually onto the side of the curb there such an elegant car though. This is the point where I start taking it a little bit too cautious and actually because of that start making more mistakes. And uh, you can see there I just lost all speed into that corner. We are on to the final split now. As you can see, we're 53 seconds ahead. Um, obviously, these moments are quite easy to do the objectives for. But to get a decent time, another question. And there you can see, we've lost a lot of speed. And obviously leading us into this hairpin, there wasn't enough speed to actually get the car rotated. Slight left, 50. Uh, we are coming on to the last section now. Slight right and left over crest. Going flat out. Slowing down for this last section. Left over small crest, 70. Over finish, 50. Here we are. Flat out across the finish line. 50.8. 7 minutes, 50.806. Quite a good time. Uh, I was quite proud of that one. I was sort of aiming around that time frame anyways. Uh, my goals for this series, I want to try and aim and get top 1,000. So anytime we get close to top 1,000, perfect for, perfect for me. What you see here, leaderboard results, 882nd. It's a big mouthful. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Uh, if you did enjoy, leave a like. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.